Hello everybody and welcome to a new video. This is going to be my C section of my CD collection, so let's go. And I have the first one right here. This is Cemetery Rapist with <laughs> beautiful name, the Smut Circus. And if you don't know this this guy, this is a one man project from um, from America and it's a really fucked up gore grind slash death metal but most of everything it's gore grind and I love this type of gore grind like I do so next up Cold World with Melancholy I talked about this record in my CD collection of it on my uh, vinyl collection and I also have the CD front cover it's a little bit different because uh, this one has a guy with uh, a tree two trees and some bushes and the vinyl has um, a guy on a horse if I'm not mistaken on it so different cover perfect music next up we go to my cannibal corpse collection as some of you might recognize this is cannibal corpse with bloodthirst and i really want every um every cannibal corpse record on cd and so far i'm doing a great job bloodthirst with one of my uh, favorite songs of them that is called the spine splitter number four next up a promotion cd with uh, three songs for the album kill it's a real cool find in a one euro uh, uh, box on festivals and i thought like hmm, why the fuck not so i bought it for 50 cents i think so cool addition to the cd collection of cannibal corpse and this is their live cd and this is the CD version only, not a DVD version of live cannibalism. And this is, I guess, um, one of the better uh, live CDs, DVDs you can find in death metal. There's a small fold-out poster of the artwork and some pictures of the guys from Cannibal Corpse with uh fans and stuff like that really cool songs have been played live on this uh, cd and before you think i'm not actively searching for um uh damn get in for cannibal corpse cds or records i just find them at random so and if i don't have them i'll try i'll try to take them with me and probably their most well-known record, Tomb of the Mutilated, with the song Hammer Smash Face. But in my uh, personal opinion, that isn't their best song. Uh, especially not on this CD. Uh, that's Icon Blood and that's an amazing, amazing record. Uh, song, sorry. Let's go to my first Cannibal Corpse CD that I bought is Gore Obsessed. And I love the zombie infested artwork on this one. Ripping out the liver, if I'm not mistaken, of the guy that's... I hope he's dead, so... Really cool stuff. Um, my favorite song on this record is... Pit of Zombies. That... Dun, 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 on the first beginning fuck that's heavy let's go to a vial and this is a digipack and right there it says CD plus extra live tracks videos and more it's a digipack like I told here and it features staring through the eyes Staring through the eyes of the dead live and hammer hammer smashed face live. And if you put this CD in your computer, 
it will tell you you will have a few videos available so really cool stuff next up an EP by Cannibal Corpse called a warm infested and they did a tremendous cover of Metallica's uh, no remorse on this one but my favorite song on this one was the undead will feast if I'm yeah undead will feast next up Cannibal Corpse with the wretched spawn let's say another digipack fold out and <coughs> you see this album is in my opinion their best many of you will disagree but this album front to back um, starting off with severed head stoning but my favorite Favorite two actually on this one is Decency Defied and They Deserve to Die. Cannibal Corpse, The Wretched Spawn. Next up, a local band but fucking promising Contorted Minds with their single Spirit Departure. It came in a um, plastic sleeve but I don't like those things because they get lost in my... Uh, CD collection so I put it in a jewel case and still have to print it out but this one is limited to 100 copies and I've got number five next up a promo from cadaveric asphyxation I got this for free at the Maryland Death Fest which is Almost exactly a year ago I've been there so I can't believe it's a year ago and I got this and I thought like why the fuck not and really cool stuff from cadaveric asphyxiation next up corpse molester cult I also I don't know if I still got it or sold it I got I had let's say I had this 10 inch of course molester cult and really cool old school death metal with a small bit of trash metal so really cool stuff if you like that kind of music next up cytotoxin with their extreme masterpiece radiophobia i absolutely love 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 this band there's no more thing to say about this band I love the fold out thing fucking love this band the technicality is spot on not too much not too less spot on and absolutely my favorite song is Abyssum Nucleus that slamming breakdown in the end of that song people who know cytotoxin know know what I'm talking about next up their debut with cytotoxin Plutonium Heaven. I got this at their personal website before I even saw them live, and I got this recommended by Ed Fate by some video, and they were sold out immediately after that video. So I'm very happy to grab one of these copies, and. Really cool artwork. Chernobyl technical death metal is what they call it. And I love the small passageway on the bottom. It says dedicated to all civilian soldiers, children which died or suffered from the results of Chernobyl incident in 1986 and Japan 2011. That's cool stuff by guys who really give a fuck. Next up, Corposophalic with it's brutal death metal this so uh, glutinous chunks I got this recommended by a friend of mine Jan von Luchtenberg and he is the drummer for uh, Contorted Mind which I just shown and he recommended by saying this dude this is one of the most sick records which is out there so please check it out and it is one of the most sickest brutal death metal uh, acts out there next up this is castrensis of castrensis with 
Hiriakis. I'm Dutch, not trying to pronounce it well. Brutal death metal at his best. Funny story behind this one. I was at the Maryland Death Fest, like I told you, a year ago. And I was standing at the Savard record um, booth where they were selling a fuckload of uh, CDs. And I told those guys, dude, please recommend me one CD and I'll buy it from you, which totally blew your minds away. And they said, dude, just buy this one, you will be amazed. Castrensis from Denmark make a extremely good music, extremely brutal death metal. Next up, Crustacean with Insaniac. This is a Dutch old school death metal band with probably the most ugliest artwork for a death metal band ever. But as we say in the Netherlands, schijnbedriegd. This is an amazing record. Really cool, unknown, old school death metal from the Netherlands. Next up, let's say. I've got two copies of this one because I bought a Die Hard edition um, of Chainsaw Castration with their album um, Embryonic Necrophage. And as you can see, this is purple and this is green. And I'll show you why. Because this CD is green. And as you probably have guessed, the city is purple in the purple one. And Chainsaw Castration is a brutal death metal slam deathcore ish band from uh, Manchester, if I'm not mistaken. And they make a extremely good style of that music, and I absolutely love them. I've got two or three shirts of them here, I've got a patch from them, and a sweater if I'm not mistaken was in the Die Art edition and a beanie was also in the Die Art edition. So next up also shown this on vinyl this is cerebral incubation with asphyxiating on excrement. It's a big mouthful to say and this is the guise of cerebral asphyxiation. Really cool essential um, brutal death metal if you like uh, sorry if you like brutal death metal you must have this CD it's an essential and uh, slam introduced groovy toy groovy fighters everybody knows that song by the famous intro of um, um, something with Larry or something and really stupid that I've fucked it up right now but fuck it. this is cerebral impiety if I'm not cephalic impurity sorry with unique brood revival the same guy of uh, contorted minds Jan van Luchtenberg told me that this album rocks and it certainly does this is brutal death metal from the highest standard that's been released by SFC records and I think this band has been going under everybody's radar and I think these guys deserve something better than that. So please check out Cephalic Impurity. I said it right. Cephalic Impurity. Check them out. Next up, three albums of Karag Angren with Where the Corpses Sing Forever. Well, let's start off from the first album also on vinyl I get I, I also have this on vinyl this is um, Karag Angren with Lamedam then you got Karag Angren with uh, Death Came Through a Phantom Ship and then you have Where the Corpses Sing Forever and after that there was a release called the This Is No Fairy Tale and I don't have it yet S still on my want list and um, I think these two are the best of Karag Angren. After 
uh, death came from a phantom ship, they started to try too hard, in my opinion. And sadly, Karag Angren is not good at doing that. The music is still cool, but nothing will beat their first two records. And I guess many of you will agree with me on that one. So, Symphonic, Black Metal, and that's one of the fewer genres that I hate, but in every uh, hated genre there's a gold mine to find. And luckily Karag Angren is also from the Netherlands. Last one, Melodic Hardcore from my friends in Combined Fragments. I've booked this, these guys two or three times and they're amazing guys to hang out with and really cool music and Melodic Hardcore is big in the Netherlands so 1 plus 1 is 2 they got a lot of gigs around the Netherlands and watch out for them because maybe I hope for them they will come to your country very fucking soon combine fragments with the final hour well that was my C selection of my CD update so I'll see you next time and don't forget next one is the D collection see you